This is Al, the Partner Products Manager at Bobcat, and you know what we wanted to look at were some of the differences between the 4-axis rotary toolpath and the 4-axis, uh, which is in the 4-axis standard, versus the 4-axis professional and the morph between two curves. And the example we're looking at right now, and I did post some sample code uh, in, in a thread, shows the rotary toolpath. We're working with the surface, uh, the tool is going around the part, it's moving up and down in Z, but it's not shifting in Y, it's not moving in Y at all, it just goes up and down in Z and it follows the model. Now, this is a great toolpath and you can use it for a variety of different applications, but when you're running a, a, a four-axis machine with an indexer, uh, you have four axis simultaneous capability or true four axis capability and you can see in this example here it's just a swap axis This is morph between two curves, and you're going to see that it's significantly different. Uh, as it follows around the surface, when it gets to the flat of the surface, the table moves in Y. So it's actually controlling the Z for the up and down, the rotation, and a Y movement as well. And that's what makes the 4-axis Pro so powerful, is when you're dealing with uh, using an indexer and some surfacing operations, sometimes you really need the control to drive in the Y axis. Uh, being able to cut in the Y axis at the same time is essential for making the part properly. And if you're not running the 4-axis Pro software, you're really not going to have that capability. So this is just a quick example. Uh, hope, hopefully you find it uh, useful and informative. And uh, look forward to talking with you guys some more.